Hello and welcome back to another Cloudisms video. In this video, I'm once again trying out this new format of playing through a mission with a build on just to showcase it in all of the different various situations you'd find while just playing the game normally. And I want to do a little showcase of the wave splitter uh, before I show off Heart Shadow because I'm still just waiting on Gear Falcons to be re enabled. Now, wave splitter would also be insanely strong with Gear Falcons since it suppresses, therefore, proccing Gear Falcons every time you get a kill while it's a, a tankier target, basically. Um, but this build is still very fun just with uh, anything honestly frosties or star eaters would be insane with this um, so to get into the build the only really essential parts for this are echo of starvation for devour and echo of instability for volatile realms these you can pick and choose what you'd like uh, i'm just using uh, both two slot fragments so i can get all four fragment slots and uh, I don't really love Vanishing Step. I typically run with Trapper's Ambush just so I can help out my teammates. So if you are playing in a team setting, you might want to swap one of these out. Probably Stylish Executioner, but it's up to you. Uh, for the weapons, I'm using a Pulse Rifle strictly because I'm doing a campaign mission with champions. So I've got on an Unstoppable Pulse and Overload Machine Guns. And that's why I have a machine gun here as well. We've got the Wave Splitter, of course. On the helmets, the only important mods here are the Trace Rifle, Ammo Finder, and Harmonic Siphon. And the only other super important mod in here is going to be Innervation and the Trace Rival Scavenger. All of these play into orbs a lot. Uh, Innervation is going to be really, really nice for just getting grenade energy back. I'm already running Frosty, so I get my grenade energy and everything else faster. But this just quickens it up a little bit more. Now, I am running Swift Charge here only because I'm using a Pulse Rifle and it's necessary. I figured I'd just throw this on just for fun to get some more ammo for the Wave Splitter. Uh, the only reason we are using this is the blue tech, so if I get kills with the Pulse Rifle, there's a chance they'll drop special ammo for me, which is really, really nice. Um, and that's why I have Firepower on as well. Typically, I like to run two Fonts of Mites with Elemental Time Dilation and Bountiful Wells on my cloak, um, but we're mixing it up a little bit just because we're doing this campaign mission. So that's the build. Uh, if you guys are enjoying this format, please let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll proceed with the gameplay. No commentary and let me know if you guys would appreciate a commentary over i just uh i'm just trying new stuff out and I'm trying to figure out what sticks so let me know thanks bye bye This lead guardian. This could be big. Big enough to crack this case wide open. Finch, a hunch is not enough. We need evidence. Compelling evidence. Okay, how about a secret underground temple? Because I found one deep in the tunnels there. And guess who it's dedicated to? Savathun. Yeah, well, kinda. It's dedicated to Sathona. Savathun before she was a hive god. I mean, talk about compelling. Just imagine what's buried down there. Imagine? So you haven't seen this object? I didn't get eyes on it per se, but I know it's powerful. Enough to attract a whole mess of scorn. If this object is what you promise, then it'll be worth it. Stay alert, Guardian. We can't miss this one. Scorn are even more entrenched than the last time we were here. Oh yeah, the Scorn have dug themselves in deep down here.
So Finch, tell us more about this temple. How do you know it's dedicated to Sathona? I only got a peek inside, but the statue in there looks just like her. So Savathun built a mausoleum for her younger self, then abandoned it. Why? Uh, I don't know. Um, embarrassment? Who isn't a little ashamed of their past? <laughs> Dead end. But there's an illusion here, with Savathun's signature. So, she didn't leave this area totally unprotected. Why didn't she return to upgrade her defenses with the light? Why haven't the Lucent Hive come to confront the Scorn? Oh, maybe it's bait. Maybe she's luring the Scorn in so she can convert them. Use them against the Witness. I highly doubt Savathun would gamble her throne world for the sake of a few Scorn Brigades. No. Savathun and the Witness are fighting a turf war. You don't see ground unless you're losing. So, that's the temple Sabathun dedicated to herself. It's... It's quite a sight, isn't it? Can't accuse Sabathun of being too humble. There's no way to lower the bridge from here. There has to be another path forward. Use your senses, Guardian. You've gone too far to turn back empty-handed. in the temple, we should take bets on what this object's gonna be. Now, I don't technically have any glimmer, but I do have a pretty solid theory based on what we've found so far. Now's not a good time, Finch. Yes, don't distract the Guardian. We're already taking a gamble that this thing has the answers we need. The Traveler and the Last City are depending on it.
Guardian. Look, that plate in the center should lower the drawbridge. Finally! Ikora, we're lowering the drawbridge now. Good. Once you're in, head straight for the statue Finch described. If this fits the pattern, the object should be nearby. Guardian? Ghost? Have you found the object yet? The only thing here is the statue. What? There's gotta be more! Cora, I'm sorry, but it doesn't look like there's anything here but the statue. Finch, please don't tell me the Guardian did all this for nothing. No, no, there's something there, I swear. Wait, what if the object is the statue itself? Or one part of the statue. That worm familiar looks like it's a separate piece. Of course. This is Savathun's temple, after all. There had to be a trick in it. <laughs> But that's impossible. That's an Ahamkara. 
What? I knew it. I knew the Alucard were gone. I knew there was one left. At least one. The last one died cursing the Dreaming City. This has to be another illusion. Hi, Cora's right. This is an illusion. Just a very, very realistic one. Powering that illusion is limited. If you escape, it can't follow. No chance of that. Exit's completely blocked. Those scorn must have come from somewhere. Of course that Ahamkara would have one final move. We gotta find a way out, fast. Ikora, Finch, any suggestions? Guess we're on our own. Let's go, Guardian. Ghost. Guardian, come in. Are you there? We're here, Igora. We're on our way to the surface now. And, and you've got the object, right? Otherwise, this was a huge waste of time. We got it. Thanks for the concern, Finch. <laughs> <laughs> 